Carolina Amanda here from ScrimpyMama.co.uk and I've got a lovely special kind of fancy fold to share with you today and I'm calling this my locked mechanism card and that's because we've got a card here which is currently locked by this front panel and so to release it you slide up and that opens your card alright and it's a special little device that looks a bit like a butterfly and then you can reapply it and relock the card okay and that will slide down super fun and it's a lot easier to make than you think so I'm going to show you exactly how to make it so you started off with a piece of cardstock which measures 5 and 7 eighths by 11 inches and we're going to score each end at 2 and 3 quarters all right just to make it easier so we're scoring this end at 2 and 3 quarters and then we're going to turn it around and score the other end at two and three quarters. Alright, and then they will fold in on themselves like so, like that. Now just to make that sliding mechanism a little bit more um, easier flowing and so that I don't have to give you 16 7 inch measurements what we're going to do is we're going to take the left the right hand flap here we're going to put it back on our cutting board and I'm just going to take the tiniest sliver off all right just a very tiny sliver extra just from one of the sides all right which will just give us just a, a just a, a tiny extra increment there all right so I'm going to just fold and burnish all of that and then we're going to layer it with DSP and you want two pieces each of these measure um, what do they measure? <laughs> I've forgotten <laughs> let me measure them it could be five and three quarters by two and a half okay and then one of them we're just going to take a tiny sliver off again just a very tiny sliver so we're going to cut them to the same size and then just take a tiny sliver off of one and then just bob that to one side and that is going to be your right hand your right hand one where you've cut a tiny sliver off of there all right just so that it all matches up perfectly it's just the easiest way to do it like i say rather than going into 16 7 inch measurements which can be difficult for some people to follow including myself Alright, and then we're going to learn how to do the, the locking mechanism. Alright, oh, let me get that on straight, there we go, and the next one. And of course if you like a bigger increment or a smaller increment on your DSP you can change it to suit yourself. And this is just what I, how I liked it. Okay, all right, so we've got some nice lovely flower uh, panels there. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make the locking mechanism. And this idea I am um, crediting to a lady called Nicola Mason, and I saw her use this on a journal. And so she'd got two pages in a journal, and she used this locking mechanism to close the two pages. And I just, as soon as I saw it, I just thought that would look fantastic on a card. <coughs> So what you need is four pieces of card. Each one of these measures four by four. Now the locking mechanism principle will work whatever size you do them, um, but you need to make sure they're all the same. So you've got four pieces of card, all measuring four inches by four inches. Two of them you want to score down the middle at two inches and then fold and burnish. All right and burnish them as tight as you can so it's nice and nice and flat okay then you put them like that spine to spine all right and then you're going to glue the back of those onto one piece of cardstock all right oops all right so Measure it up with the edges, have it all flush. Okay, that 
that's one glue down there. So again, we're going to glue the back here. You have in the spine towards the middle and the open edge towards the outside. All right. Put them both together. Just take time to make sure it's all nice and neatly lined up and flush. All right. Um, one thing that I do advise, which I'm not going to be able to do because I won't have time, is allow that to dry in between and give it a really good press so that's nice and firm down that crease so that it's adhered properly. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a sandwich that onto another layer. Okay, so we put some glue on there, all over. Okay. Make sure you get the edges and sandwich that over the top. Again, taking time to make sure it's lined up as perfectly as you can. I do say things don't need to be perfect, but in this instance, it will be much easier um, sliding in and out um, if you've got it lined up nicely. Otherwise, it will you'll find that it might stick. All right, so we're just going to make sure that's all pressed nicely. Okay. And there you go, you've got that kind of a jobby there. Okay, that's what you'll end up with. Then we can decorate this just the same as you would a card for any card front. So I've got some pre-cut layers. So this measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then my pink layer here, this is the lovely magenta madness. This is the flowers for all season. This measures three by three. And then this is one of our stitched shape framelits and this measures two and a two and five eighths by two and five eighths all right so we're going to put our dsp layer on okay make sure it's make sure if you've got a pattern you've got it flowing the way you want it to flow okay top to bottom Make sure it's nice and straight. It's a lovely card and it's a lovely idea. Um, I don't know if Nicola has invented this idea or whether she's seen it somewhere else, but uh, she's the one that I've got it from. Um, look, I've used a piece of scrap there. <laughs> um, and as soon as I saw it, I had to try it and share it. Um, she was happy to share it with everybody. So... It's fine. Okay. And so that is my card front there. And so on my locking mechanism, I'm going to add that like so in a, a diamond shape to the centre. So I'll add some glue. Okay. And then do that on there like so it just looked nicer this way and um, then the other way I tried it the other way and just this looks just a little bit more striking it's funny how just positioning something in a different way can just look better don't ask me why it just does <laughs> all right and then that will uh, make sure that all of these pieces are nice and dry so they're not sticky and sticking to your card and then you just simply slide it over as I say, it's better if you wait till it's dry and then it's not, it slides in easier. Okay. And that has locked your card. Okay, and then you can decorate the front there however you like. Now on this one, I'm not going to do the full decoration on camera, but I'm going to show you what I used. And the reason being that I've hand coloured this with watercolour pencils. And so that can be a long process for, for videos. But I've shown you exactly how to do the base of the card um, so that you can go away and create one for yourself. Um, I have used the beautiful jar of flowers, like I say, which is available as a bundle, available on Wednesday the 3rd. Make sure you do check that out. It's a stunning, stunning set. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.